What's up, people? I'm Shaggy, the Opinionated Hippie. Uh, this Christmas season, I've decided to listen to Christmas albums for the first time in my life. Um, not that I have an aversion to Christmas music, but it's not something I seek out. But I checked out Bob Dylan's, which was surprisingly conservative and safe. I uh, checked out uh, Twisted Sisters, which I thought was going to be maybe the best thing I checked out this Christmas season. And then I checked out Rob Halford's Judas Priest front man, apparently big lover of Christmas. Um, and he has put out a fantastic, fantastic Christmas album, making me maybe think that the best Christmas albums are those made by metal artists because the Twisted Sister one was stupid fun. This one is ridiculous fun. Um, it sounds like late period Judas Priest. It is pretty much a full on sort of new wave of British metal metal album, um, leaning a little bit towards light. I don't want to say Trans Siberian Orchestra type vibe, but no, there's actually some really really good music on here. Some really good musical choices on here. <clears throat> some really good like long developed like solos and ideas and. Um, there are definitely, as with the Twist, Twisted Sister album, there are times where if like you were not actually paying attention to what was being sung and you weren't already familiar with these easily recognizable melodies, you would maybe not think this was a Christmas album. Musically, it could be a regular, normal, late period Judas Priest album. Um, he doesn't do much to mess with the melodies, so even though the music might be this full-on metal chug or might be this atmospheric kind of spooky thing, once we get the song, we're like, we've got that melody that we know and love, so he's not subverting those expectations. But it is it is just, it works perfectly. Um, and there's a couple of original songs on here, one of which might be the best thing on here and might be one of the best Christmas songs ever. So it opens up with this sort of like wintry soundscape with like wintry <clears throat> kind of soundtrack music called Celestial. Um, and that goes right into this just galloping rocker called Donner and Blitzen, which celebrates the season by honoring two of the hardest working reindeer, the reindeer that don't get the love or the praise they deserve. Um, this is such a good song that I'm, I have it down uh, every year in my kindergarten class, a different kindergarten class, so they grow up every year. Uh, we have a Christmas performance and each class sings a song and I try to do stuff that's off the, off the beaten path. I think we're doing Donner and Blitzen next year because this song is amazing. We're gonna change one word, it's not appropriate, uh, but that's okay, we're gonna do it. Um, then we get uh, God Rest You Merry Gentlemen, which is a little bit darker, heavier metal groove already. Like we're leaning into the metal. It's wonderful. Um, Away in a Manger, um, slower. A ballad has this really awesome sort of spooky guitar that's kind of weaving in and out of it, like a very sort of metal ballad type thing, but it's Away in a Manger. Um, great atmosphere, just overall great vibe. Um, Morning Star, um, kind of a casual, more... Uh, breezier song, some nice slide guitar work in there, just fun, really good. We're kind of like hitting hard early and kind of easing up on the, the metal, but still maintaining a little bit of, uh, a little bit of like good guitar work in here as we get uh, through the album. Then we drop into what's probably the epic, epic song of the album, Deck the Halls. Um, over the top, metal, cheesy, it's Deck the Halls. This is the first time, maybe the really the only time where we're maybe verging on Spinal Tap territory or even maybe like this is something you would expect like if they made a Wayne's World Christmas movie, like there'd be Judas Priest in the back playing this song. Has that kind of vibe. Uh, but it's it's fun. There's some great musical passages and he's doing more. I mean, he's putting a lot into it. There's thought put into this. There's some jams. It's, yeah, it's an indulgent, awesome little ride. Um then we get uh, Joy to the World, which goes into A Little Town of Bethlehem. Uh, Joy to the World is just kind of a very upbeat uh, little metal thing. And then we go into uh, O Little Town of Bethlehem, and it's like a nice segue, and it's very atmospheric, and it just, it really, really works. Like, the upbeat stuff has just great metal energy, uh, the sort of slower ballady stuff, the atmosphere that is created musically, and like either a slide guitar or some random guitar with licks throughout just 
creates really, really good entertaining music, uh, regardless of what you think of like the Christmas melodies that occupy the heart of these songs. Um, we get Hark the Herald Angels Sing, which is just kind of funny, upbeat metal. Um, just, yeah, just kind of funny. Um, the first Noel, which is a little more traditional, straightforward, a lot of choral work on that one. And then we get the sort of power ballad epic to, for the most part, close out the album. Uh, there's a little traditional protected by the light number at the end, traditional sounding number. Uh, but the good King Wenceslas, it's like an epic power ballad. Uh, we get this really awesome sort of spooky Middle Eastern vibe intro, maybe like a spookier cashmere type vibe, that kind of metal vibe. Um, then we go into some nice sort of just rolling kind of acoustic vibes, and then it just kind of builds up in intensity, and we get like a epic sort of seven plus minute type power ballad to close out the album. This is a great Christmas album. This is actually a great non-Christmas album. Like, it's really hard to take the Christmas out of it because the songs that are being sung, they're so traditional sounding, but that opens up with Donner and Blitzer, which is a song you've never heard unless you've heard this album. Yeah, good job, Rob Halford. This is awesome. Apparently, this is his second Christmas album. Apparently, he has another one I think called Winter Songs, or maybe it's a winter album, I don't know. I'm gonna probably try to find that and check it out. Uh, but this, this was a good listen, especially if you're a Judas Priest fan. I think you'll appreciate sort of the, yeah, it's a good listen. I recommend it. Yeah. Next time somebody says, hey, play some Christmas music, drop this on them. Yeah, and then if they complain, well, they're wrong. All right, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Just wanted to share an awesome Christmas album I heard. Uh, peace. Subscribe, share, like, have a good holiday. Kwanzaa's coming up pretty soon. Christmas, uh, Hanukkah's already over. But yeah, thanks, take care. Talk to you later, peace.